Good afternoon, board members. It's a little different than on this side of the fence. My name is Hilda Barg, and I reside at Dumfries, Virginia, 22026. I come before you today to show 100%, 100% of support for Chief Charlie Dean, a man of integrity who has kept his promise to the people of this county, a promise to keep an open line of communication by holding public meetings in the community and trying to remove the hatred and the fear that has been building in our community for months. I am appalled that you, Corey Stewart, has publicly attacked our chief. I've served on this board of county supervisors for over 20 years. And in 20 years sitting up there where you're sitting now, I have never, absolutely never, ever seen a county supervisor attack the chief of police, try to tell him how to do his business, and take away the respect this man has gained in this community. <clears throat> Corey, you have created fear in this community, but it's not going to work any longer. The people are wise to your tactics, the little blibs of immigrations. The people in this county are ready to stand up, and they are ready to fight for peace in this community and bring us back to the way that we should be. You have created hate <coughs> across our county, our region, our state, and we're a laughing stock across the country. We need so badly to come together as a people and find a way to resolve these problems. We need to find a way to regain our credibility. Our property values have fallen to an all-time low as low as we've ever seen it in, for as long as I can remember. Our young teachers coming out of college, our policemen coming out of the training, our firemen, they're not looking for jobs in our county anymore. They've had enough of what they see and what they hear. They're looking for jobs in other places. I want to take just a moment to commend you, Maureen Cadigan. I admire a woman who will stand up and fight back. Of course, all of you know I have a little fight in me, and I am willing to always fight back. But Frank Principe, I commend you. John Jenkins and Marty Noe for speaking out in the papers and showing your support for our chief. To you, Corey, I say, if you cannot lead us, we must have a leader. Please leave us. One other thing in closing, I know the bell is ringing but I'm still going to finish what I have to say. There is rumor out there that you're now going to run for Congress. If you cannot pull this board together, God forbid what would happen to our country if you were to pull off a fluke and get elected. <laughs> but let's step up now. It's time for you to give a public apology to our chief for the actions you've taken against him. But more importantly, let's pull together Let's pray for peace in our community, and let's find a way to resolve our problems in a reasonable way, and let's move on to regaining our credibility as a community of people who really care. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Barton. Ms. Uh, Monroe.